Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and welcome to February's monthly build. Now this one is is going to be pretty good, it's actually a latest build. Ryzen 7 is going to be released next month on March 2nd, so this is a very appropriate build for this month. You can probably even pre-order the Ryzen CPU on Amazon, not on Newegg yet, on Newegg you can't do it yet. I have put in the new egg link because I don't like pre-ordering products. They usually come cheaper at the at the uh, release date. And so I put in the new egg list, but you can go ahead and search this on Google and get the Amazon link whenever you want. So here is the parts list. The CPU is AMD Ryzen 7. I chose the top of the line 1800X just to show you guys that now that Ryzen's released, you don't have to spend like a $5,000 build just to get a 6950X. You can actually get better performance from the 1800X for only $499, and that's pretty good. I also decided since we're not getting a uh, 6950X, which is like a $1,000 CPU, instead we can get a full custom loop from this cooler, this kit I mean, from EKW, and the CPU itself for the very good price. It's actually very surprising now that the custom loop is the same price almost as the CPU. I chose this motherboard because it's black mainly and it has a little bit of gray but besides that it's not too bad. It has a good set of ports, a very good set of ports indeed. It's pretty black, has a little bit of gray on it. You could like take these heat sinks off and paint it. They're just heat sinks so they're gonna be pretty simple to paint if you really want to. Uh, five-way optimization, whatever. It's it's Asus one, so that means you get an Asus Aura. That's one very good benefit for that. Uh, another thing is the port layout. Let's see if I can get that here. Yes, this is a very good port layout. I like it when they include a PS2 port because a lot of times I like to run a old keyboard because I like don't have the USB kind yet. So I just run an old keyboard, and that's what's good about that. Anyways, here's a great list of ports. You have two USB 3.0. Uh, one USB 3.0 Type A and a USB 3.0 Type C. You have two USB 3.1 ports. That's very good because 3.1 is like the new, latest technology, and it's like 10 gigabytes per second is the maximum out. So I don't think that one's gonna be put out for a while. So if you really want to stay future-proof, put on a 3.1 port because. That is really coming out, and it's just gonna start bursting in this year, I think. Gigabit LAN, that's very good. A more 3.0 ports. What I also like about this is that it has a integrated graphics. I like it when the motherboards include integrated graphics because that makes it so much simpler. Like when you're having a problem and you need to diagnose it, it makes it makes it makes it so much similar. Not similar. What am I saying? It makes it so much easier to test your motherboard when you have that, because you can see if it's your graphics card that's not displaying an output or something. I also like this when they include a 8-channel HD audio, because it makes it simple, you don't have to get any expansion cards, so that's why I chose that. Of course, I'm trying to make this blue and black, because this is actually a build that um, I'm doing. I made it just the parts that I would choose for my build, so... I put in these, these are some... oh, it actually didn't work. Okay, I, mean, I put in a blink. Okay, so this, these are the Corsair Vengeance LED Blue DDR4. They're 1300 MHz, it's a 2 by 8 by 16 gig, 2 by 16 gigabyte kick for a 32 gigabyte total. It's 339, but for this kind of a build, you're obviously not going to care about that. So the reason why I went with 216 is so that you can upgrade it to 64 whenever you want, because this motherboard supports 64. They're nice, nice LEDs. They have blue at the top, it looks very good. Storage, I went with the VX500 because it's got a lot of good reviews, it lasts a very long time, it's the longest lasting SSD I know of. If you know of any more, let me know in the comments below, I'm very interested in that because I'm trying to look into an SSD that lasts the longest. I put in HyperX Savage because of course that one's very fast. And I just thought it's nice to have two different SSDs, because, you know, you want to have different experiences. You want to be able to review them, whatever. 1070, uh, yes, I know for this kind of a build, it would make more sense to probably go with the Titan XP, but I don't really see why you need to go with that, so I put in 1070. This is the case I chose. It's Fractal Design's latest case. It's very good. It's the case that I actually want to get for my next build, considering they don't get another one. They don't make another one before I do that. 
I chose this power supply because this is very good. It's it's fully modular and it's fanless, which means it'll be totally silent. I even threw in Windows 10, and in total, this build comes out to be the price I show in the title of this video. The reason why you see this is 4,000, of course, is because I need more 3.0 ports, and these are the monitors that I want to get. Okay, so that wraps it up for this build. The last thing I want to say is that, impressively, very impressively, this build only takes 230 watts. That's very good, considering this power supply is 400, I decided to just add some extra room for like another graphics card or whatever, but 230 watts, I don't even know how to build a, a computer for that, 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 that low. I mean, it's just so amazing that these new Ryzen CPUs are like so much less wattage, anyway, so 230 watts is very impressive for me, and that's stunning, actually, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this build, I'll put a link to this parts list in the description for you to get all these parts. And yeah, that's it, you guys will have to click on the link, I won't link each one, I'll just link this parts list down below for you guys to click on it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this, if you did, give it a like, if you didn't, give it a dislike, doesn't matter, and subscribe if you want more videos like this, comment your opinions, whatever, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.